Oh wait, entrance hall. I don't think we're going down. The other children cheered him on. His name voiced them a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim. Okay. Hold. Oh, that does not bode well. Anytime in a game that's giving you tutorial messages tells you to run, usually means there's. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Quite sure of what I just witnessed. Lots of bugs over here. Ooh, tinderbox. It pays to explore everything, kids. What is that? Oil! Hells yeah! I got fucking eagle eyes. Okay. I still only have a slight headache, so it's it's not the end of the world. But something doesn't want me to leave, clearly. Yeah. Also, I hear growling. I'm not sure what that is. Ha! <laughs> I almost missed this. Oh my god. Mr. Eagle Eyes is missing very obvious places. I didn't mean to. supposed to go down here? Should I look at my journal, maybe? Mementos. No mementos are available. Daniel's note to self. That's all that's here. I have no path. Hang on. What? Oh, I can just top it up when I need to. Oh, that's cool! Sort some some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Why would you think that? Why would you why would you go to can it be dissolved? What about can I just move it aside with my hand? If it can be dissolved, let's go to the one at the door and get the fuck out. How about that? See, I was about to say I hate branching paths because I want to explore them all, and I believe I'm supposed to go that way, but... Oh. Well, it looks like I can't go that way. Uh, the way is shut. Tabularium. Are you kidding me? Paths, they keep branching. Although I can't go. Ooh, tinderbox. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Pick it up. Can't get down this way. I'm assuming I can get like a hammer or something. Pull out the wood. Pull up the nails. Archives. I was there already, so I don't think I need to go back there. Which makes me think I should go the other way. Just gonna do that. Sorry. It's a little warm. Sella Binaria. 
Oh, right, the warrior. I'm going to assume we have to go to the laboratory. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. What is that a clue from? Ah. Itchy leg. This this I, I, I do not like. This indicates to me that something is going to be down here to chase me and I will be able to circumvent it by climbing up and then falling down. Or I'm going to be down and something's going to jump down and uh, break me the hell out. My attention is being pulled. But I didn't really see to what. this oil gets consumed, so I should probably try not to use it all the time. Um. Alright then. Lots of boxes. Sound of somebody crying. Excuse me, did I hear walking? What the hell is that? All right. Ah, there is a chest over here. Yeah, buddy. I am definitely hearing footsteps, but I think it's coming from above. Should be more Cooperite. Cooperite? What's Cooperite? Let me see. Let me see. And one part aqua force. Strong water, heavy water. I don't like that. Chemistry pot. Sure. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. Former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, in hopes it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid. Highly acid? Yo, it's highly acid, man. Proves impractical to put to use any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. What's happening? Tender box. I don't know if it's if I'm going crazy because it's dark in this corner. Or if it's because of the noises that I'm hearing upstairs. Hinderbox. Could be both. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move in them into the wine cellar. Oh, hi, Mika. Ah, so I, oh, four different chemicals are needed to continue. Are there any chemicals over here? Nope. Hi, Mika, what are you doing? 
Am I hearing a baby crying upstairs? Oh, hi. You want to come down? I guess that's okay. There's not really a lot of room for you, though. Well, you're just gonna really try and cuddle up into a corner that doesn't exist, eh? Oh. Oh, and the dogs go crazy. Oh, right. How's my brain doing? Just a slight headache. that it will actually stay lit next time I come down here. Ah! So we must move to the wine cellar if we want uh, the ingredients. Oh, for the love of shit. Find the key for the wine cellar. Why is this one red? Why? Like, why? Why? Oh, it's because that's what was selected. Aha! <laughs> I am a story. I don't know if there's a good reason to keep my oil separate. I'm gonna. Where am I gonna find the key? Up here? Oh, I swear to Christmas, if these boards blow off when I get over here. Where's the key? Maybe, uh, maybe they're in the archives. The only other door that actually could be traversed to. need to uh, check something here. No, oh, okay. It's things I don't care about. Okay. Libri rari. Rare books. Catalogs. Don't forget to be careful with your rare books. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. There's Late all, tomorrow, oh, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, it was... hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. You gotta read page two. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark and cold night. Okay. Now I know. Oh. Oh. 
So I will say this. I've watched a lot of the custom stories played, so I know a lot of the mechanics of this game. But I don't know a lot of uh, monsters. And I have no idea when monsters show up in the main game here, so... You know... Is that in game or outside? I am slowly going crazy. Right. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg, is to recommend my services to the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal, Wilhelm of Gerich. I don't need this open, do I? You... No, I really don't. There, door's closed. Ooh, tinderbox, tinderbox. Although some of the custom stories that I've seen, or most of them maybe, uh, have seemed to automatically apply oil to the thing, and so I was on, uh, I was on, I was not expecting what happened. Study. I am also perpetually like, the fuck was that? Perpetually expecting something to. I'm going crazy. Come out and scare the crap out of me when I I'm trying to be armed against jump scares because I don't jump scares just feel cheap because it's a startling. It's taking but it's taking advantage of your. On 17th of teacher, May, I am 1839. On alert. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. Well, the crudely carved pleasant. passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Something is moving. Hear it? I bloody well do. 